That, it's funny because at that disastrous press conference, President Biden kept saying, it's totally up to Russia. It's totally up to Vladimir Putin. What comes next? You know, it's completely his decision whether he's going to launch basically World War Three by, by starting this. And a lot of people were saying, well, what? Why are we allowing that? Why wouldn't we, you know, it's not like we're some meek little player with no international heft. Why wouldn't we come out and say, no, it's not totally up to Vladimir Putin. We'll make it so painful for him to actually do this and create this conflict that he will have no choice but to back down. And and I guess sanctions is our most effective means of doing it. The only answer I I seem to glean from grandpa at the at the presser was it'll hurt us, too, economically. Look, I, I think it's really important. We could do a whole show on this next point. But but Washington is literally trapped into military talk and military planning. Yeah. As somebody who's been at the State Department for 11 years, we're in a crisis at the State Department. We have diplomats who are not very good and who haven't mm-hmm. been trained to have uh, muscle when they go in. We have diplomats who don't know how to negotiate. They know how to write reports about what's going on in a political situation. But we need diplomacy with muscle. I mean, look, let's be honest. I was mocked. A whole bunch of other people were mocked for being undiplomatic or whatever. When, when you know, I'm the nicest guy in the world. I was <laughs> never rude to anyone, but I was firm. And I would say to Chancellor Merkel, no, you know, it doesn't make sense. And the American people don't understand when you have a budget surplus and you're not paying your NATO bill. It doesn't make sense. Why are you doing that? You know what she once said to me? Hmm. The reason why it really riles up the media in Germany when I say that and the reason why the political people attack me and the reason she doesn't like it is because it's true. Hmm. She literally said that to me. She knows it doesn't look good, but they have all sorts of reasons why nobody wants a, you know, another powerful um, military in Germany, which is not true, but that's one of their excuses. And, And so we've got to get around that. And the way to get around that is diplomacy with muscle training our state department, uh, uh, diplomats to understand when you're sitting at the table, you, you've got to solve this problem. You got to be tough. You got to come up with creative ideas. Cause if you fail, you take that file and you transfer it, over, transfer it over to the Pentagon. They don't negotiate. And what Washington right now is trapped in is immediately sending troops into every situation, right? Immediately saying, Oh, what's the military option? And so instead of diplomacy with muscle, We've pushed the State Department aside. I mean, you got Blinken, who is a disaster at negotiating. He sends in Wendy Sherman, who is basically her nickname is, what do you want, Wendy? She sits at the (laughs) table and gives everything away. She's done that in North Korea. She's done it in Iran. Now she's doing it with Russia. It's like a drive-by shooting for them. They go in. They watch everything that's happened. They sit at the table. they, They issue a statement. They claim, we had a meeting. I'm so tired of the State Department pretending like a meeting is action. A meeting is a tactic. A meeting is like we get there and now what? A -hmm. meeting is nothing. You got to have action. And so I believe that when you go in as a State Department diplomat, you better be there with muscle because if you fail, you got war coming behind you. I also will just finish with this. I don't want to see diplomats um, talking about troop presence and war. You can talk about the possibility that the Pentagon will come in if we fail. But I don't believe that a diplomat should be there saying, you know, war, war, war. And we have too many diplomats, even on our side of the aisle, that that talk about war. Um, Instead of it being a backstop, it just seems to me that they keep using it as a tool. And I want to see diplomats that go in, get creative, and who are there until the end so that we don't have war, so that we can avoid it. But you got to be tough if you're going to do that. The current Mm -hmm. crop of diplomats that we have, honestly, um, too many of them are not cutting it. What do you want, Wendy? It's not fair to use somebody's high school reputation again. No, I don't. I I know nothing about her past. Just kidding. (laughs) 